Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to review this book which entitled Sharia Minds in Islamic Finance, which is indeed an inside story of a Sharia scholar. Well, the thinking process and algorithm of a Sharia scholar is not an open secret thanks to this book. There has been no formal writing or description about the life and uh, the minds of the Sharia scholars before, so this book is the first of its kind and for readers to appreciate this masterpiece we should acknowledge that this book was uh, written by malaysian bond scholar who is world renowned who has traveled to many many countries to provide us uh, sharia solutions due to high demand for his expertise okay this book uh, begins by explaining who is Sharia scholar, what uh, the roles that Sharia scholars play, and what are the expectations from the stakeholders towards Sharia scholars. These are discussed from the lenses of the, the general public, regulators, the uh, Islamic banking and finance practitioners, uh, Muslim economies, yeah and Western-based financial institutions. The author then moves to a discussion on the significance of a scholar's presence in the industry and describe the unique thinking process of Sharia minds as well as the, the methodology used by the Sharia scholars which I particularly like the emphasis on values and benefits of a financial contract over its technicalities when the management proposes a particular product. Prominent scholars face fundamental as well as practical uh, questions, issues and cases that demand Sharia response quickly on a daily basis. So the scholars uh, state that uh, their brains are always actively processing information to the point that they acquire predictability skill. So this tells us how Sharia scholars can take up advisory jobs in many Sharia boards. This is a famous question in the literature. I must say that the author of this book is daring enough to respond to negative perceptions and controversial claims. Uh, towards Islamic finance practice and uh, on Sharia scholars themselves, such as the, uh, the prominence of mimicking conventional products, Sharia monopolies, and fatwa shopping. You will find uh, the, response, the, the responses to uh, such questions in this book. After reading this book, I come to realize that many stakeholders, including uh, academics who made or subscribed to these claims which to the author are simple-minded thoughts failed or refused to understand the context wherein scholars are working and the sociology of this phenomenon. My only disagreement to this book is that it is too defensive towards Muslim economists. Uh, I say this not because I came from economics uh, background but um, well muslim economists are not idealistic all the time they do look at the data they draw inferences and they propose potential moves to optimize the operation of the industry this book has a broad audience as it responds to the many questions lingering on the minds of consumers of islamic banking products academics and researchers policy makers industrial players and of course the students of Islamic banking and finance. I appreciate the author's approach to make technical terms quickly under, uh, understandable. Yeah, you, you will see some jargons but um, the jargons are then uh, explained by the author. And this book um, will neutralize readers' negative thoughts about modern Islamic finance and Sharia scholars and make us appreciate their minds.
This writing is conventional such that when you read it, you will be inclined to respond or express your feelings like, oh yes, oh wow, really? So I give 4.5 out of 5 star rating. However, this book is quite, in quite many places, contain uh, phrases that sometimes interrupt the flow of the sentence, such as um, there, there is a lot of uh, phrases like most, if not all, if not this, and if not that. The authors uh, also use quite a lot of punctuations like dash, dashes and parentheses, which to me will require readers to read carefully. This is more of a writing style. Overall, this book is a masterpiece that will change the way you look at your scholars, particularly those working for the Islamic uh, banking and finance industry. That's it.